what it is YouTube, it's your boy Cooley with Cool HD Films, so I got a topic for y'all today. Today's topic is going to be, do I need an expensive camera? You know, I'm trying to get into the creating thing, the create, the being a content creator, just going on YouTube, getting cinematic, and I don't know what kind of camera to get. You go on people's pages, they got 1DX Mark IIs, all these crazy cameras, and they tell you that gear doesn't matter, but yet they got a crazy camera. We ain't going to talk about that. I want to go put that to the theory, so I took the first camera that I ever owned, which is a Canon Rebel. T2i camera which is what less than $300 so I went out called a couple friends up and went to go shoot a music video and I just wanted to test to see what that'll look like so without further ado let's get into it So if you like the footage from that T2I, I actually thought it was really dope. The official video will be dropping this Friday, April 13th. So if it's after April 13th and you're watching this, make sure you click up here. I don't know which side, but it'll be in the, uh, the info card, they call it. So to answer your question, do I think that gear matter? No, go use your iPhone, go use your Canon Rebel, go use whatever device that you got and just go out, be creative. If anyone is interested in purchasing a Canon T2I, I actually have mine for sale. So that'll be in the description and I'm including a lot of stuff with it. I'm also including EOS C-Log profile with this. You'll get more dynamic range. It's like a flatter profile that EOS they had came up with. Also, I would have Technicolor Cinestyle profile, which is actually what I shot the music video that you was watching today. Also, I would have Magic Lantern pre-installed into this camera as well. And you know, that just do a whole bunch of stuff. It'll help you with the focus peaking. So you know when things is in focus, it'll help you with zebras. So you protect your highlight. It also has zoom focus while you recording. So you could just make sure everything is still in focus. Extended ISO. So even the ISO that comes with the camera, you get extended ISO. So you could dial in exactly the ISO that you want to get the perfect exposure. Another thing you could do is shoot in 2.35 aspect ratio. So when you put the black bars on the top and the bottom, you not, your subject is still in the frame. You get the audio meters while you recording as well so you know your audio levels while you actually recording yeah magic lantern it just it just do a bunch of stuff but that all those different things that i already have pre-installed in the camera that's going to help you get cinematic help you shoot 
everything that you're supposed to do like the higher end cameras so once again if you like this video make sure you hit a like if you debating about which camera you should get listen whatever camera you got just go out get cinematic don't wait and and just wait 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 for next year for you to get the most expensive camera just use what you can use now and keep building up your resume get doper understand your cinematic shots how to get exposure all those different things like that once again it's coolie with cool hd films be blessed i'm out I just make it happen, I don't talk too much When I'm doing me, I can't be touched I be coming through in the clutch, yeah, yeah, yeah I be coming through in the clutch I just make it happen, I don't talk too much When I'm doing me, I can't be touched I be coming through in the clutch, yeah, yeah, yeah